Have you ever wondered what designers buy for their clients on Amazon? Well, today I'm spilling all of the tea because I'm sharing my top Amazon products that I recommend to my luxury design clients. Before we get into today's video though, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram, but let's start chatting. Now the first product we have to chat about today is the Obrite Task Lamp. So yes, I filmed a video where I said task lamps may be canceled, but they're not canceled in my home. That's society. I'm not society. <laughs> so I love this task lamp. Why do I love it? I think it looks good. Task lamps really help segment open spaces, which I adore because I have an open space and I'm not going to put up a room divider um, because that's just way too expensive and I don't need to do that. They are also great for providing light because a lot of us, we have fantastic natural light but when the sun goes down it looks like we're in like i don't know like dracula's cave and i i this is not transylvania that's not where i want to be so i want some light to read work play games whatever it is i want to do at nighttime so i love these task lamps for that they come in black silver and brass i have the brass the brass are 75 dollars i believe the black and silver are a little bit cheaper but i love them because they are adjustable they're not only adjustable in terms of height but they're also adjustable in terms of light so if you want to like have a party you want it to be really nice and bright I guess a party would be the opposite of that but if you want a lot of light you can accomplish that but if you want some dim mood lighting you can also accomplish that with these class lamps these are always a hit with my clients they're always always a hit because for my clients who are kind of struggling with sight these are fantastic and for my clients who really want the luxe look these also do it so they have so many great uses you have to pick these up the next amazon product that i love to use in client spaces is the beckham pillow so they make it in queen size and king size and this pillow has my heart i have it right here for you look at how nice and plush this pillow is and i use this pillow every single night and i'm touchy i have one pillow for sleeping and one for my phone and this is my sleeping pillow you're like kiva don't sleep with your phone well you know now we'll deal with that another time but look at nice how full it is i've had this pillow for a year and it's so nice and fluffy but the reason why i love these pillows is that they are fluffy they look really nice for a bedding arrangement on the bed but you can also sleep with them i sleep on my side so i need something that gives me some height but not too much height i don't want to be like sitting up straight in bed so this pillow helps me accomplish that i have clients who love these now i will say that these pillows have a few bad reviews but this person it seemed more like a them problem than like a pillow problem. I hate to say it, <laughs> but I love these. I've had them in so many client spaces. I have them in my sister-in-law's house, my grandma's house, our house. They are fantastic. I get such a wonderful night's sleep. They are, I, they're just fantastic. They're fantastic pillows. There's nothing else I can say. They're great no matter how you sleep. Like my wife, she sleeps on her stomach. She looks like she's dying every time she goes to bed. She sleeps with them. I sleep with them. You're going to love these. The next product I love putting in client spaces from Amazon is this Royal Living Comforter. They do have an all seasons version and then a winter version. I have both. Um, I tend to use the all seasons one, obviously, because I'm way too lazy to change out my comforter every single season. So what I love about this is that it does have loops on it. So you can put your duvet cover on it really easily. But if you're one of those people who sleep without a duvet cover this is a no judgment zone ish it's ish <laughs> ish um, but you can just use it as is I think it's really good at modulating temperature which is really important to me because I feel like every single married couple or couple they have different temperature needs someone sleeps really hot and someone sleeps really cold and I hate having separate blankets because I feel like they always fall to the floor so I feel like this does what each person needs to do in the bed and it's a great size it's a little bit oversized so you get that nice draping look that we sometimes want so I love this. The next product I love using in client spaces is this basic home throw pillow insert. It is a Euro insert. It's 26 by 26. It is down, so it is feather filled. And I'm telling you, when I discovered these, I was like, these aren't going to be better than Ikea. They're not going to be better than Ikea. These are better than Ikea. And they don't smell like feathers. People say that the Ikea ones do smell like feathers. They definitely do. I mean, they're filled with feathers, so I feel like that makes sense. But these have no scent, and I love them. Look at how full this is. They are so full. They require way less fluffing than a lot of other pillows. And I have never, ever, ever seen a feather come out of one of these. So I love them. They have so many different sizes. And when we like to relax on the sofa, these are the ones that we relax with because again, you can see they are quite malleable, which is exactly what you want your throw pillow to be like so that you can obviously use it. And with the tags, obviously you can just 
rip them off so you don't have to deal with that and just put them into your pillow covers with the remaining tag down so that it never ends up sticking out especially if you have a pillow cover that doesn't have a zipper now we just did a living room refresh so stay tuned for that you definitely want to subscribe to check that out because we are now doing a warm modern our style has always been contemporary modern but instead of it being cool and a little bit more sterile we're doing something more warm so i'm so excited to share that with you but Part of that was getting a new rug. And when you get thin rugs, you always need a rug pad. Not only does it stay, help it stay in place, but it makes it look a lot more luxurious. So if you're not splurging on a rug, this is exactly how you're gonna elevate it. So I got this rug felt pad. The felt pads are always best because they give you that really, really good height. And this one is fantastic. The dog, he's like, becoming like Usain Bolt in the house. He's running about with the zoomies, which is fine. Like it's his world, but he used to mess up the rug and it was so annoying because he'd play and then I'd just come in there like, I gotta fix it, <laughs> I gotta fix it. But not anymore, this rug pad is really incredible. It was really easy to put down um, and I love it. Everyone needs a good rug pad. So that's why I included it in this video. Is it special? No, but instead of getting the plastic ones that I do feel like shift a bunch, this is a fantastic option. Now, if you watch our bedroom transformation, which it has totally changed since then, so you can go watch it, but our bedroom doesn't even look like that anymore after the delivery disaster we had. But you would have seen these faux alligator or crocodile, I'm honestly not sure which animal it's supposed to be. It's faux, it's faux. Pillow covers, and they're really great. I mean, look at these corners. They're really nice and perky. Um, they fill out super well, and it's a great way to add some texture into your home if you have a very muted color palette. Um, and they do have some give, so I'll even open this up for you. Okay, the one thing I don't like about it is it does have this tag on the outside. It says uh, bra warm maybe the bra warm i that's not a very good name but i will say this tag is on the outside it, it's exposed which i don't love but i shoved a pillow in here that was like three sizes too big <laughs> that's a little bit big right um i got that one from home goods and i just shoved it in there because i used a different pillow cover but look at this it has so much give to it um and i think the two pack was like nine dollars i mean you can't do better than this having faux animal prints is becoming really popular because with those muted color palettes you need to add texture so this is a great way to do so now if you've been here before you know i love a good pill shaver and this is the one that i normally tell you about but as I've said, recently we did kind of like a living room transformation and that meant I had to get rid of our furniture and I'm not just gonna throw it away, that's so wasteful. So I resold it on Facebook Marketplace. How did I do that? Well, I actually used this pill shaver and I didn't even empty it out because I wanted you to show how much it captures in so little time. But I used to be pro this one, but this one has a larger kind of like storage bin so you have to empty it out less and it actually has a few more settings than the other one so it can get down really really nice and close to your furniture which i love so this one only has three settings this one has quite a few both have an on off button both take batteries but i adore this one i was able to get my sofas looking brand new with this i think this one is a little bit more expensive but it's travel size so if you're traveling and you're like oh i really need to I don't know why you'd ever do that, but okay, so me, if I were traveling and I was like, I really need to pill shave this for this person, this is what I would bring with me. It does fit in your like design kit really easily. So if you're working with clients, this is a great tool to have alongside you, but I use this in client spaces all the time because a lot of the time people say, oh, I think I need a new sofa. This one is so raggedy. Well, this is how I'm gonna refresh it and save you a ton of money. Now, since we're on the topic of refreshing furniture, I do have to talk about Folex because Folex saves lives. Folex saves lives. Like, it, that's all I have to say, it saves lives. So Folex is a carpet spot remover, but I use it on all of my furniture. So yes, you can get the Bissell Little Green Pro Heat, but it's expensive and sometimes you just don't wanna to have to put your back into all the cleaning. Um, you don't have a cleaning YouTube channel, you know? Um, cleaning is not your profession, so you don't wanna do that much effort, I'm told, that's fine. So the Folex does it. Like I had a stain on my sofa that had been there for a good year. I was just ignoring it. I just didn't show you guys that sofa, but this got it out so easily. You give it a few sprays, you use a white cloth or a white paper towel on it and it gets the stain out. Or you use like an old toothbrush. Don't use your current toothbrush, use an old toothbrush. But don't use a towel that has any color to it because then the color will end up on your furniture. But this does the trick. It does the trick every single time. Like if Folex needs a spokesperson, I'm here for you um, because it does everything. It does pet accidents, grease oils, blood, red wine, coffee, ink, rust, dirt, grime, cosmetics, food, most old stains. It's non-toxic, odor-free, VOC and petroleum-free, safe to use around children and pets. I mean, 
it doesn't get better than that. I love using this in client spaces, especially clients who have kids. Again, we're refreshing that old furniture instead of getting new pieces and it's just magic. It's magical. So summer is right around the corner and that means we are having more barbecues or we're just entertaining a little bit more. And you know, the dining area is important too. So something I love recommending to clients and something I have in my own home is this really, really, really luxurious set of cutlery. So one thing I will say about this, it is, it's super heavy. This is, this is as heavy as my dog. So my dog, he's a Yorkie. Bichon so there you go but this is the cutlery set I mean look at that it's just so nice and chic um yeah that's all I have to say it is a nice like I guess I would say like a pewter like a, a dark pewter um I love them really high quality they wash super well in the dishwasher they're a great way to get kind of like black silverware that doesn't look too farmhousey because I think black silverware can look farmhouse really easily so I do love the sheen on this you know what I would probably call this I don't need to go into that you guys can see the color the only downside of this is that all of the spoons look like soup spoons and I find that a little bit embarrassing because people be like why'd you give me a soup spoon we're not having soup and I'm like it's not a soup spoon it is the spoon that came with the set but it does come with these big spoons it comes with smaller spoons it comes with uh dinner forks I think it also comes with salad forks and then it does come with knives so I love the set it comes in this nice little container here and and you know it's multi-purpose you can get your workout in and you can have a great set of cutlery and I do like that it fits in here so if you just want to use this cutlery for when the queen comes to visit you can just tuck this away in your buffet and then take it out when the time comes and let's go right back to the bedroom for a second so I know that linen bedding isn't for everyone but a lot of people love linen bedding and it gets really expensive the one of the most popular places that sells linen bedding is West Elm and a lot of people just don't have access to that so I love this simple and opulence one it has the ties in it I love the texture I actually have it in green and white I got green because I was feeling a little adventurous but this works with any space it steams really easily and it doesn't stain and I do find that when you wash it a bunch it's it just relaxes it doesn't get more harsh and I have found that like at Target um sometimes I get the linen bedding Casaluna, and after <laughs> I use it a few times. It feels like I'm taking, um, you know, sandpaper and rubbing it against my skin. And I don't love that for me, but I do love this one. So check this one out. Um, so yeah, that's what I have to say about that. Now, if you are a DIYer, this part is for you. And I love recommending this to my um, clients who want to DIY their own art because buying like really large art isn't in the budget because really large art, if you want something that's massive, it's going to cause you at the very least $10,000. And a lot of us just don't have that much money to spend on artwork or I, I sure don't. So what I love to do is pick up this roll of prime canvas. They have so many different sizes. They have like 10 feet, 15 feet, 20 feet. And I think it's by like five feet or six feet. And you can just DIY on top of it. That's how I made the art behind the sofa. If you don't like the art, you don't need to share that with me. Um, I can live my entire life without knowing you don't like it. I like it. Um, but this is a great way to DIY art. I think the price starts at around 150 bucks and that's way cheaper than getting, um, a piece of art made if you can't afford it. It's a great way to have your kids make art for you, something like that. What you could always do is use the Ikea Bjorska frame with these um, to frame it yourself, or you can just go to Home Depot, Lowe's, frame it yourself, make your own frame, put it on the wall. Um, it's a really, really affordable way to get custom artwork. Now, we all know that when we're working in a client space, it's not just about how it looks, it's also about how it feels. And part of the way you feel is part of the way the house smells, right? Because if someplace smells good, you just feel really warm and cozy and like invited into a space. And to light my candles, I love to use this electric lighter. Now, I love this electric lighter. Arvin definitely recommended this to all of us like two years ago, and I'm still using it to this day, especially in client spaces, because it's nice and sleek. Most lighters that you can find at the store, they're like bright pink. And I'm like, thank you. I want something minimal. Now, the only downside of this is it does look like, it does look kind of like an e-cigarette, so I will say that, but I think it is really nice and sleek and it fits into most decorative boxes. But the way it works is really simple. You just kind of push it up. Um, and there you go. And you're able to light any candle. So I really, really, really do love this. Uh, and you just charge it with a USB and it comes with a USB cord. So you can charge it really easily and you can use it time and time and time again. You don't have to worry about it running out of gas. And when you're using candles to increase the longevity of your candles and to make them look more sophisticated, of course, you need a wick trimmer. So here's mine. Of course, it's from Amazon. It's gold because you guys know I love gold. It's my accent color. And um, they're so cute that you can leave them sitting out, which I enjoy. But the way they work is really simple. You just kind of get them they look like scissors you lower them down and then you're able to trim the wick and the reason you do this is so that when you light the candle it doesn't kind of like 
burnt out. I know you've probably seen that happen before. I hate that. It's the worst and it's a fire hazard. So you can just keep your candle looking nice and fresh. I did unfortunately drop the wick in there, which kind of defeats the purpose. But if you do it correctly, it looks great. You'll leave the sitting out and then you just grab your electric lighter like so. And there you go, really nice and simple. And as you can see, when I lit it, it didn't come like sputtering out and that's because we trimmed the wick. Now, when I'm working with a client, one of the most difficult spaces is the entryway because we want it to be practical, but we also want it to look good. And most of us have entry closets. So what I like to do to kind of deal with that mess is put in this 12 pack of shoe storage organizers. What you do is you stack them on one another and you can put your shoes in there. And it's just like a little cubby for your shoes, but you can still see all of them and you can open the door to really access them. A lot of shoe storage containers, they stack on top of one another. So you have to pick up a stack of like 20 to get the shoe at the bottom. It, that's too much effort. That's way too much effort. I'd rather just trip on my shoes all day long so I love this. You can just measure it out. It'll fit in any standard closet and you can still stack other things on top of it so that you can maximize space. I love these. My clients love these and it just keeps you looking. It just keeps your entryway looking fresh because I'm telling you we were tripping over our shoes so much and now you would have no idea that we even wear shoes. So nowadays when you are designing your home, everything needs batteries, right? You need batteries on hand for your fire alarm, some of your lamps, some of your decorative accents. You just need batteries on hand and they're really easy to lose. I don't know how many times I've bought a new pack of AA batteries from Costco because I thought I didn't have any more because I lost them. So I do have this battery organizer. You guys have seen this before, but it saves, it, it's amazing because at 3 a.m. when your fire alarm decides to die, you want to be able to change it instead of driving to CVS in the middle of the night. My client, I mean, not my client, my neighbor, she doesn't live here uh, and her fire alarm was going off. I don't know how she even knew that, but she was like, Kiva, will you change it? And I had my battery organizer on hand. So it just took a few minutes. But the reason I love this, again, you can organize your battery so you can keep everything charged that you need charge right because it's so annoying when things die like your pill shaver or something like that you can't do what you want to do but it also tests old batteries we are about the lux look for less and that means we're not about waste so what you do is you grab a battery we'll grab this one from costco if it doesn't work i'm gonna have to sue costco you put it in like so and it lets you know how charged your battery is this battery is good it's good it's not all the way good so maybe i have a bone to pick with costco corporate but otherwise i know that this battery is good so sometimes you know something requires like six batteries and you're like is there something wrong with all the batteries or just one well you can figure out which one is actually dead relative to the other ones and if all the other ones are still fine you can keep using them waste not want not yeah Ooh, the kitchen is the most difficult place in the home to keep organized. It is. And the cutting board is something that is the bane of my existence. So I use this wood cutting board I found through T. Beeston, one of my favorite mommy YouTubers. I'm not a mom, but in anticipation for that, I love watching her. And she has this bamboo cutting board and it actually has like five or six different um, tops that hide inside of the cutting board for meat, veggies, bread, whatever, so that you don't have to use the same cutting board for everything so that we don't have the cross contamination but we don't need a place to store 50 different cutting boards. This is something I buy as gifts all the time. Our friend, he just got a grant. We bought him this and he was so happy. He was so happy and I was so glad that he enjoyed it. I love this cutting board. You can leave it out on display, um, which I love. Decor and function in one. There's nothing better than that. And I don't know, I've had mine for about a year. It's dishwasher safe. We've been using them forever and love them. Now this wax one is a little bit pricey, but if you're crafting a luxury home, this is something I recommend to all my clients. So the next product is the Philips Hue light bulb. So these light bulbs are so expensive. They start around $45 which I know is a lot, I know it's a lot, but they are game changers for rooms with low light, if they're game rooms, anything like that. Basically the way these work is that they're, they're smart light bulbs, so they can turn any color, red, blue, green, all of the different colors of the rainbow, all the different colors of the color wheel, and you can do different amounts of light. So what I love about them is when I get into bed at nighttime, I can dim the lights from my phone, I can turn them off from my phone, I don't have to stand up again. This is really great when you're entertaining, so in your entryway, if you really want the night's lights really nice and dim, um, on your artwork you can do that because a lot of people don't have like a place to put in picture lights so they don't want to install new electrical you can actually just angle your lights at your artwork and the Philips Hue light bulb would do all the work you can put them on timers um, everything is controlled with an app for your home and I think it just really elevates any space especially in rooms that have low light you can change the light to really 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 give you that daylight look even if you don't have access to it now if you do want a picture light these ones are fantastic I used to recommend some older ones which I'll link down below but I found these new ones and I am 
am a convert. These are tin tin picture lights. I love them because they are magnetic. So the actual part that does turn on, you can just pull down without having to take the entire thing down. And it is USB charge. It's not battery operated. So you can just plug them in and recharge them. It does warm and cool light. I love them. They're 12 inches long. They look super nice and luxe. These are probably the most luxurious looking faux picture lights I've ever found um, because they're not a gaudy color. I feel like sometimes they're really gaudy or they don't diffuse light really well. And these do a fantastic job. Now, recently I just moved these mirrors from our bedroom to our entryway, but you guys always ask about arched floor mirrors because arched stuff is really in right now. These arched floor mirrors are fantastic because they're floor mirrors. They're also wall mirrors. Um, you can do anything with them. They have hanging hardware. They also have a stand, but you can also lean them. So no matter how your style changes, this mirror can go with you um, as you evolve, as your space evolves. And I love that. And I love that they have a good arch on them. They're really easy to hang. I just use some 3M cloths to do it and I put it in the entryway. It's a great way to introduce some curvature to your space so if you're kind of struggling with your design this is something I always recommend to clients because it's a great way to switch things up without pushing yourself out of your comfort zone plus mirrors you know they open up any space there's nothing better than that now I'm not going to touch on these much but for my clients who love organization home edit want everything to look nice the wrap dock is their number one friend because it's able to keep your aluminum foil your parchment paper really well organized in drawers I have a series of products like this um, I'll link them all down below I use them to keep my kitchen and countertops clutter free because the clutter drives me crazy in the kitchen because if we can have our kitchen clutter free we have more room for decor so I adore this I also want to talk about this spice rack so I found this a few months ago and it has changed the game for me because I love to have my spices really beautifully organized, but there's some spices I use so much of them. Having them in those tiny containers just didn't make any sense. So this is just like a spice organizer. It comes with a little spoons and you can just lift the spices up. It has a little bit of lid and I just leave it actually sitting on the counter because it's acrylic. It kind of blends in and you're able to get your seasonings really easily. It just helps me cook a lot more efficiently, which I really love. And there's far fewer spice like granule just scattered throughout the cabinets because that drives me bonkers. Now, if you are working on a bedroom or an office and you really want some curvature and you need some lighting, check out this globe lamp. This is such an RH dupe. This is actually probably the first restoration hardware dupe I ever found and my clients love this one. It is just a dome lamp. It's so cute. It's so cute. It gives off great light. It does have a pull on it and you can just hide the cord in your desk somehow. It's a hit. It's a hit. Every client I have love it. Every client who has gold as their accent color buys this one because on other websites at other stores, they're like $250, $300 for a lamp that doesn't even come with a light bulb. No ma'am. We love this one. Now, the very last Amazon product that I do recommend to my clients that is, it, it is pretty pricey, but for a lot of us is worth it, is the frame TV. Now you can frame your own TV and put a screensaver on it, and I do wanna save that, but if you don't really wanna go through the trouble and you don't mind spending a few extra bucks, the frame TV is really a game changer. You guys know me, I was a hater when it came to television, but Babe was like, I, I just really wanna watch TV. I really wanna watch TV, so I came around to it, and it is actually one of the best purchases we have made to date. And the way the frame TV works is basically, it's a TV that is really nice and thin, so it looks like a piece of artwork. It's actually right here beside me. And all you do is you put a frame around it. It's magnetic and you can put your own pictures up there. You can put artwork from the gallery up there. Easy peasy. It helps your TV just kind of blend into the space really well. So if you don't have a lot of wall space, this is a good option because you get art and you get a TV because you don't necessarily want to have to choose. And this is a great in-between. I love this. This was worth it for me. I'd probably say wait until Black Friday or like a 4th of July sale to buy it because it is pricey, but it is one of my best buys to be and today and I was actually really happy to be proved wrong about this TV. Okay, you guys, those are my top Amazon products. Those are the products you ask me about most often and these are the products that I recommend to all of my luxury design clients. These are products that have great reviews, I stand behind and I would never ever ever steer you wrong. Any products you're looking for, you need any recommendations, let me know down in the comments because I'm always here to help you achieve the luxe look for less. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.